Yo, Farmer Dre back at it. It is currently Thanksgiving and uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we are working out here. You know, before you go out and eat all them good turkeys and have good time with the family, of course you gotta work for it. So we have the boys out here today. We're not doing too much on the farm, but one thing that we have to do, it, tomorrow night it's getting down to 24 degrees and we have all the pipes exposed here. So one of the plans is I want the, the plan is to have our water house here the center of all of the um, all the fertilizers waters and everything so we got the blueberries right there so we got to pull pipe to all those but for today all we got to do is cover up these ditches but first we got to pull the pipes for the strawberries the uh, blueberries and the uh, block of apples down there just uh, in advance so we don't have to dig the same ditch again so I'll show you guys and explain to you guys whenever we get started but you know even though it is Thanksgiving, farmers still work on Thanksgiving. You know, there's no days off. So, so we have famous TikToker right here. Yeah, I guess. hundred and how many followers? Uh, 132. 132,000 followers on TikTok right here. We got a loser. A loser. <laughs> That's Isaac right there. Oh, my dad's coming but uh, yo, Dad's coming. Oh, we, we better get to work. Like Let's work. work. Let's go get to work, boys. Act like you work. Nah, we're just joking. My dad's pretty chill about us uh, letting us film and stuff because he knows that uh you know we're only doing good stuff here we're not we don't, we're, we're, we're good kids right on we're, camera on camera <laughs> but anyways we're gonna go ahead and get started we got inch and a quarter of pvc coming out of the well so i'm gonna try to explain to you guys here what the idea is so we have this inch and a quarter pipe here the header so we're gonna have to build a frame over here but all the pipes are coming out of this and you know three pipes coming out that's what we're doing today and uh as we build this i'm gonna explain it a lot better but like I said, I want all the center of our fertilizers and everything to be in here. All you gotta do is open up a valve and water shoots out there with the fertilizer already in there. So make my life a lot easier. So to be able to do that, we have to uh, get stuff ready, prepare from beforehand. So uh, anyways, we're gonna get to work, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the strawberries and how they've been doing. So yeah, just stick around. Alrighty, so in here we have the main pipe coming from the well, it's a two inch, and then that's the, the electrical is going through a regular PVC. So we got one pipe going to the strawberries, one pipe going to the blueberries, and then one pipe going to the hide, uh, to the apples in block three there. But all we're doing today is putting up the 90 there. We're coming up the ditches so we can get safe from the frost and the cold. But now we are throwing over some sand over the pipes so that it can make a nice soft bed for the pipe so that if you do get, you know, if you do step over with the tractor, it has where to sit. So we can bust the pipes to put any big rocks there. So now we're gonna go ahead and cover it up and then completely finish the job.
Alrighty, so they got all this covered up here nicely, what Adrian did. And uh, we got running water now, we got power, all kinds of good stuff now. So with this pipe, we, we got to dig a trench to that corner there. And eventually we're going to have to take this, uh, this same pipe for the strawberries and take it all the way down there, about 500 foot. And then those two, one of them's going to the blueberries, the other one's going to the apples and the peaches in block three there. And if we ever need a lot of water, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, dig a pipe all the way down to the high density apples that we planted in uh, 2019. And uh, yeah, just keep the water distributed. This is just an irrigation well, agricultural purposes. So it's made for a lot of debit water. It's made and it was built for irrigation. So. Yep, we got the everything insulated now. Whenever it gets cold, I just got to put a heater in here, make sure the water's running. And uh, yep, so we have a pretty good debit of water here. Look at that, 70 psi coming out of just the hydrant. So this will be good here for mixing fertilizer and whatnot. And it's coming straight out of the well. So whenever now the well is pumped into the tanks there, the pressure tanks. And then whenever the pump turns on, that's going to be direct access straight to the pump. But like I told you guys earlier, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these strawberries and how they have been doing. And this Monday, we are uh, putting on our row covers for the first time. Well, in the fall, once you put them on, you leave them on until spring. So my brother Val, he's going to pick those up. Actually, he's down there. He's going to be down there tomorrow. Pick up the row covers from Kentucky and then bring it back up. And then Monday morning, first thing, I mean, Monday about midday, because with the row covers, whenever you put them on, I'll talk more about row covers whenever we do put them on but whenever you put them on you want the uh outside temperature to be like you know as warm as possible for the day because then you, you trap that heat in there and once you trap that heat in there it's a lot easier to conserve that temperature to keep the crown and the plants protected and that falls more in the spring whenever you got open blossoms and stuff out here but we do have a few open blossoms on the roccos but they will still they're if they're not pollinated over the winter they're gonna go ahead and die off and in the spring we are gonna have to uh just start letting them produce so this is our little deer fence here i gotta squeeze in between these two left me a little cheat way here so that i won't get shocked but deer if you guys haven't seen my video on the uh the uh, deer fence deer can't see perception so they, you know, they have their eyes on their side of their head so you know they can't see distance and i had a little bit of issue on that side so i had to re refix something up re revamp something real nice there but you know a few rows have a little bit of deer issue on them now but that's just on that side but over here these roccos are just looking absolutely gorgeous so isaac saw the grass here real nice and then he felt like running through here but this is just the annual rye grass growing nice we, we probably got to mow it tomorrow before we put the row covers on or monday morning first thing coming out here and do that until and because if you put the row covers on this thing is just going to absolutely explode over the winter and in the spring we're going to have a much harder time mowing this but i think we have to mow this before we uh put the row covers on on monday but these plants have just been growing real real nicely there's a few flower like i said a few flower buds a fruit a few set plants here so this is my second fall ever growing strawberries and these are the biggest plants i've ever seen i mean Last year was just pitiful and we saw some pretty good production, but this year and hopefully next year we have, I mean, we're at, the, at, at how the plants are looking and how, you know, we've been growing them. And from my, my experience in the past two years, these plants are 10, 12 times bigger than the plants I had last fall. And last fall, you know, this past spring, the plants did really well. So with these size plants here, I'm expecting a pretty decent crop next, next spring. I mean, weather permitted. If we got a big old hailstorm or something then it kind of knocks it off but yep these plants are just looking real good then we got the rock uh chandlers starting right there on that row but i'm really a big fan of these rock goes just growing wiser a much bushier plant a much easier to grow just a dark plant in general but these rock these are the chandlers right here super nice growing as well so uh like i said just enormous plants here so all kinds of good stuff So I want to go ahead and show you guys the high tunnel strawberries here and you know like I mentioned earlier in my other videos I gotta come through and kill off the weeds because the, these weeds are getting worse and worse have a lot of tomato plants growing here so I guess I'm kind of glad they germinated now so that once I kill them off they won't come back for next year but these plants now that we've been such a warm fall they've been 
producing a lot of fire buds here and uh i went ahead and tried that albion they're super sweet super good berry and then i want to show you guys man these chandlers in here are just extremely extremely vigorous and then look at this first monterey of the season we're gonna let that ripen in a couple days here and i'm gonna go we still gotta come through here one more last time and uh, pull off all of the uh flower buds and flower clusters just because we want all the production and energy to go to the spring strawberries not the fall strawberries and you know if we would have had a, a good heater in here i would have uh, let these fire for the fall but you know since they are only for spring production i'm gonna gotta pull off all the flowers and stuff so that all the energy and power could go to the actual crown of the plant but you know, i went ahead and left one of this on one of the more vigorous plants here to uh let it ripen and see how it is you know what i just sitting sitting here thinking about it i'm gonna go ahead and pull it off here and enjoy it right now just because by the time uh spring rolls around i want to see how these taste you know it's not 100 percent fully ripened but it seems like it's uh pretty ripe so let's go ahead and give it a try here oh wow mmm so good oh wow that just hit my palate and uh wow super good super sweet super delicious mmm man even though the white part of it real good and delicious as well so one thing that i heard about fall or winter strawberries they have a lot of research done out in china and stuff but fall strawberries are a lot sweeter than spring strawberries just because it takes a much longer time for the sugars to accumulate inside the uh, the, the the fruit itself so that being you know the longer it takes for sugars to accumulate the sweeter the actual fruit is going to be so this is real good and delicious i'm gonna tell you what it's a surprise real real good mm, mm. so good so good so good now that i am seeing uh, how good these are i might just leave a, a row of just flowers and just have a few few uh strawberries here at christmas just because you know just surprise the family and uh whenever you bring a quart of fresh strawberries at christmas they're gonna be like wow you know but yeah i am very surprised and very uh it's happy of how the high tunnel strawberries have been going and uh i mean in future years i hope that we could do more and more high tunnel strawberries anyways the goal for today was to go ahead and cover up this ditch here we got the water lines pulled as much as we needed for the cold weather so the power everything's running nicely so we like i mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video we got to come through and set up our whole irrigation and fertigation system so that in the future it makes it really easy to come out here and fertilize just hit a couple valves mix the fertilizer and should be good to go but this is gonna be pretty much it for today i want you know today is thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving to everybody i'm real thankful for all you supporters on my channel you know whenever i first started i didn't really think i was going to do much with it but now you know i built a audience base you know you guys are part of my family now you know so it's uh it's just great we're continuing growing along here so i want to thank everybody for stopping by if you guys haven't already go and hit that subscribe button go and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget i'm coming to you guys every single day until i hit 10k i want to say thanks for watching up to this point you guys have a good day and we'll see you in the next one